happy Thursday. There are some advantages of the time change. <laughs> in my spot, I'm getting sun that didn't come into this place until usually an hour later, obviously, right? So I'm enjoying it. So let me ask you, <clears throat> in the important relationships in your life, uh, partner, friends, family, um, sometimes even co-workers, like what are your expectations for them? Like what do you want from them in your relationship? And we can write off some things um, pretty easily. We want them to be honest with us, even if it hurts sometimes. What is it Oscar Wilde said? A good friend stabs you in the front. Uh, trust is an important thing. We, we want to know that the words that they say will match their actions. They'll do what they say. Um, we want faithfulness. Not that they have to stick up for us all the time, but they'll be there when we need them. And obviously, that looks different um, in different relationships. Um, one of the things I've discovered in relationships is one of the most stressful and damaging things in relationships are expectations. Like, what do you expect from the other person? Because most of the time we hold them inside of us and we don't express it to the other person. Like, here are the things that I need in order to feel or be okay. And I'm not going to always voice it. And I'm not playing a game where you're supposed to guess what my expectations are. But it's just this weird back and forth of trying to figure out what each person needs in the relationship and how, how that plays out. That not only happens in our relationship with people in our life, it happens in our understanding and our relationship with God. Like if I were to ask you specifically, like you would have to list some things. What are your expectations from God? What do you expect from God? Um, would you say the same things for a relationship? You know, honesty, trustworthiness, faithfulness. Um, and then how would you define those? Because we can throw words out, but we don't always know like what we mean specifically because expectations can be that way. Like I have a feeling about that thing, um, but sometimes when I want that expectation met, it's not, it's not so much how it's defined, it's how it feels to me. And so I think that's why a lot of us struggle in our relationship with God, because we have expectations of what we think God should be like and how he should be in our lives. And it makes it fraught with all sorts of struggles and, and issues, because not all of our expectations are realistic. Um, not all of them are really healthy. And so when we don't feel like God is who we thought God was, um, we get into some really tough places. So that's why this Sunday, um, and our second Sunday of what are we talking about when we talk about God, we're going to actually ask the question, who is God? We can use all of the big words, the omni words, omnipresent, omniscient, omnipotent, omnipotent. Why did I say omnipotent? <laughs> um, but what does that mean in our day-to-day -day life? So this is what we hope to do Sunday, and that is to be able to describe God in a way that actually connects with who we are deep down, that maybe taps into the expectations that we have in all of our relationships with people and with God that will give us a, like a better, stronger, um, more realistic connection with God. So we'll, we'll tackle some hard conversation this Sunday. It's been helpful for me to go over this. I've seen some things that I haven't seen before, and I hope that it helps you. Again, we have a lot going on. Our lobby will be filled Sunday morning with opportunities for you to participate, to get involved in different things in our church. Um, more will be added over the next couple of weeks. Obviously, going into our holiday season, there's going to be a lot going on. If you want to know, keep up with what's happening. Obviously, social media. Um, Instagram, Facebook, and obviously our app. 
So, I'm, I'm almost done here. I need to get back to work, but I might enjoy just a little bit more in this spot. So, have a great week, uh, good weekend, and uh, we'll see you Sunday. Take care.